Hi, my name is Umar Ahmed Baker and I'm currently the CFO at FNB Islamic Banking and I'm also the owner and director of OEB Chartered Accountants. I think just, you know, it's amazing that SAICA has this recognition program for us. And uh, yeah, again, it's a privilege and an honor to be part of this initiative. I think, look, it's really amazing, to be honest with you. I think knowing that globally we recognize, I think it actually opens a lot more opportunities for you globally. And, and for me, that's really, uh, you know, amazing. I think it, uh, we, we take it for granted, but we don't know how much power we actually hold in the business space. Initially, it was really nerves, but I think, you know, the judges really made you feel uh, welcome. You know, I think they, they made you feel at ease. And uh, yeah, I think it went very well. Look, I think for us personally and being part of it, I think, uh, you know, we appreciate what they do and how they've promoted this, uh, this designation. personally would encourage everyone and every CA to apply for this. I think it's a really amazing opportunity. Yes, a bit stressful and going through the process and everything, but I think it really opens up a world of opportunities for you. Probably the one with the one with the eyebrow, rolling my eyes. No, the one where you like kind of confused or shocked or like, it's the one where your eyebrow just goes. <laughs> You know the one where you want eyebrows, so... <laughs>So, so there's a few things, I mean, as part of my, my OEB Chartered Accountants, you know, I, I, I assist the small businesses. I mean, my father actually owns a business in Pretoria CBD, so I sort of looked at the challenges, you know, that small businesses face, and I went and I sort of, you know, I know how to assist these small businesses, from, from startups to, you know, in terms of them growing and, um, yeah. And then the other element is from, from, from a community perspective, I mean, I'm a regular volunteer at the South African Islamic College, so from there, I mean, you know, it's a, it's, it's a religious sort of school, but then they incorporate secular as well, you know, in terms of that space. So, I mean, I'm a regular volunteer, they assist with sort of their financial assistance needs, I, 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 um, I tutor the students. So generally, I mean, you know, um, I, I like action movies, uh, specifically with regards to food. You know, I'm actually not a very fa fussy eater, but uh, I think sometimes I eat a bit too much. Uh, for me, I think, you know, with some of the challenges that's going on in the world, I think it will really be around peace uh, at this point in time. And I mean, if I look back, I mean, you know, I think probably uh, the late Madiba probably would be someone I would want to be the keynote speaker. Yeah, so it was actually at the, the Rugby Sevens uh, World Cup last year, September. So, you know, Dan Carter was there and he actually came to shake my hand and I'm looking at him and I'm like, this guy looks very familiar. And then I realized and then you just saw, you know, sort of the whole crowd. So it was really an amazing feeling. So for me, I think it's, you know, stepping aside and taking a step back and just looking how it can be done more efficiently. And generally we say if it works, then don't fix it. <laughs>